I honestly hope I could tell a difference because if not, I'm gonna be mad because why did I spend all this money if I can't? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So I have another haul. I told you guys these were gonna be coming. <laughs> you see my little box over here? Because I did a lot of shopping, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Sephora sale, Ulta sales, beauty brands in general were having sales. So this video is going to be a collective haul on different brands that I shopped versus like Sephora or Ulta. I have my favorite little box right here that I put a bunch of stuff in and then I have some more stuff sitting here on my desk. So we are gonna jump straight into the video, but before we do, you know I gotta remind you, gotta ask, if you're new to my channel, thanks for clicking the video, and please go ahead and hit that subscribe button while you're here. I do a lot of makeup content, hauls, tutorials, reviews. I do some hair, nails, fitness, a little bit of everything on this channel, all about feeling good and beauty and strength. So. If you wanna see what I picked up, we have Nikia Joy Cosmetics, we have Huda Beauty, we have Refer, and some others, then stay tuned and keep on watching. So I'm not gonna go in any particular order, I'm just grabbing and chatting. So the first thing we're gonna start with, since it's the smallest box, is the Nikia Joy Cosmetics. I love her loose setting powder. It is one of my favorites and it is kind of pricey. So I decided to wait till the sale. I'm not out of the one I have, but now I have a backup. So I picked up her loose finishing powder. This is just in a translucent shade. This is the packaging and this is what it looks like. I have used this on my channel before. I love it. It smells like vanilla. Very good at smoothing out your pores and helping your makeup stay in place. I'm not using it right now, but yeah, this is like one of my all time favorite powders. So I decided to pick up a backup while it was 30% off. She also came out with a pressed version of the powder. So I wanted to try that and I thought sale is the time to pick it up. I did buy this in a bundle. So it was a little cheaper than trying to buy this by itself because this was only 10% off I think versus everything else was 30. So this is what it looks like. It looks a little scary, but I promise you it is translucent and it does smell like the loose powder. So I think they have a version that does not have a smell, but I don't mind the smell at all. So I got the original. I finally picked up one of her Chroma Shift loose pigments. I don't love loose pigments. And I have others that I haven't even used yet, but of all the shades and the other options, this one stuck out to me the most. This one, it's in a frosted glass, so you can barely see the color through that, but it's like a blue-green kind of shift. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. I'm kind of kicking myself because I never use these, and I don't know why I bought it other than I like the shade, but I don't even remember if there was another option that wasn't a loose pigment. So I'm gonna see if I can pour a little bit of this out. It doesn't look like you get much in this container and it makes a mess because it is on my desk right now, but this looks very, very pretty on my finger. And I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it there. So again, it is a loose pigment, but look at that shift. I don't care what brand it is. These get me every time. There it is on my finger so you can see the shift in it there as well. And that's after the swatch. So this is a very, like, it's not a thick formula, but it definitely, yeah, even sheared out, you can still kind of see it there and you can see the shift in it. So this color is right up my alley. It's the only one I got because I told myself I can't get more because I don't use what I have already. So I just wanted to try her formula compared to some of the others I have that I've only swatched. Super excited to have this and I think it's beautiful. The last thing I picked up from Nakia Joy Cosmetics is another set of her lashes. I really like her lashes. 
she made them because she said she personally has small eyes and I kind of feel like I do too. I always have to trim lashes when I wear them. So I picked up, I have her naked set and I have her glamour set and this is her wispy set. I love wispy lashes. This is what they look like here. You get five sets and I think they're originally, five pairs, excuse me. I think they're originally, is this thing, I can't tell if we are in focus or not. There we go. Um, this is, I think these are like $30. So they're pretty affordable, but I just think these are so pretty and you get like from less dramatic to more dramatic. So it's a nice variety, but they are all still wispy. I'm hoping you guys cannot hear the yard work that is being done outside. I've been like stopping and starting filming because it gets louder and then kind of goes away. So got a little lull. Let me hurry up. Next, we are going to talk about Huda Beauty. This is the box that I got. Packaging is super cute. I tried not to go too crazy. Stuff sold out on her website pretty fast. So that was probably a good thing for me because... I didn't need half of this stuff. I didn't need half of this stuff to begin with. So now you don't buy too much. I don't even know how many things I picked up. Let's see. This is cute. It comes in this little bubble wrapped bag that has a zip closure on the top. So I picked up one of her blushes. I was going to pick this up during the Sephora sale, but I think it was 30% off on her website. So I was glad I got it at a cheaper price. This is the Glowish um, Cheeky Vegan Blush Powder in the shade Berry Juicy. I thought all the other shades were okay, but they looked kind of light. So this is this one here. This looks like right up my alley, like my perfect everyday berry shade that I love. That is it right there. And then that is the swatch on the back of my hand. So yeah, we all know this is a little bit cooler than my everyday everyday, but most of the time I'm only using a browser in the crease and then a light color on the lid and then a shade like this. So this is very pretty. Next, I bought one of her brushes. I think I've mentioned, I think the video's up where I said that I wanted to start trying more higher end brushes. So of course I am gonna get them on sale because full price is absolutely ridiculous for a brush. So I picked up one of her face brushes. This is the Cheek and cheek blush and glow this is a blush brush i think this is so pretty synthetic swirl brush in your favorite blush and then sweep across your cheeks very pretty very soft this is definitely going in the front of my vanity probably like right there perfect i also picked up the face bronze and blush palette palette barbara brushes we on brushes this one I wanted mainly because it said it was a bronzer brush and I don't have any, I don't have that many specifically for bronzer. I kind of just find a big brush and use that. This one is also synthetic. I don't know, I guess I thought this was gonna be bigger than this. This is the brush here. I guess you could bronze with that. I guess I just thought it would be bigger. Not horrible, but I don't think this is what I was expecting. So uh, it's a brush and I'm kind of naive to brushes. So I'm sure I will be fine. I won't be disappointed, but just initially it's not quite what I expected, but that's not to say it doesn't work. So we'll see. Two more products from Huda Beauty. I picked up the Overachiever Concealer. I got this in Granola 18N. I had to pick this by Shades on the website. Wasn't completely sure. This looks super light. It says it's a high coverage creamy concealer. I've always wanted to try this. I should have gone back to the store to see how it looked. I love that it has this cooling applicator tip. Ooh, that's light. Actually, that's probably right up my alley. <laughs> Foundation's always too dark. Concealer's really light. But that is what the shade looks like right there. And then blended out, she is thick and she is very creamy. So that kind of looks like what I had on today. I had a, I have on the Patrick Star one size concealer today and that was also pretty light. I like the shade of this. It is not too yellow. It definitely looks brightening. So it says it's a neutral and I definitely agree with that. I... Maybe should have gone a little more. 
golden. I just hate how golden looks on me. So this, I can put a yellow powder over it, kind of make it a little more golden, but no. This looks like it'll be good. It's just, she's light. The last thing I picked up is the Tantor Contour and Bronzer Cream. I picked this up before when it first came out. I picked it up at Sephora. I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't know how to use it. And then I picked it up in the shade Deep instead of the shade Medium, and it was way too dark. So I brought it back because it looked super muddy and crazy on me. But now since I've gotten a little more familiar with how to use different products and have seen good reviews on this, I wanted to give it a try. So this is the medium shade, which looks really dark. Yeah, this is definitely, it's a bronzer, could be borderline a contour, but it is a little red. So that is what the shade looks like there. But I think it honestly, looks very similar to what I used on my face today, which was the Jouer uh, face palette that I got during the Sephora sale. The contour on there was a bronzer. It was dark and it was deep enough to contour a little bit, but it looked more like a bronzer. So I kind of feel like this is the same, but this shade is perfect. So now we're gonna move on to something I am really excited about. I finally bit the bullet and bought some high-end brushes. Refer had a sale, 50% off on their website. And so I just picked up the whole eye set because that's my favorite thing to do. That's the thing that I've always kind of wondered like how much of a difference it makes. So yeah, this came with, came in this box here. These are Japanese brushes. They are handcrafted and I, I don't even know how to act. I honestly hope I could tell a difference because if not, I'm gonna be mad because why did I spend all this money if I can't? So I probably should pull this up on the website to see what I bought because there is no description. <laughs> so when I tell y'all expensive, she is expensive. $354 is the regular price of this set. I got it half off. That's still a lot of money. You get 15 brushes. So they are numbered. 1, 2, 3, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 21, 23, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 32. I guess I'll go ahead and take these out. With the set, I also got a gentle brush soap. So this came with it. And then I also got, what is this? A modular vanity system. It says for lips and sticks. So this is acrylic. I guess I can open this and put these in here right now. And I'm sorry again for the noise. I hear it picking back up. I can get this out. So this is the first part. I, didn't real, I guess I did realize it was two, but I don't know. I don't be paying attention. So this is component B. It, oh, it's magnets. So they have this little part where you can put the lips and then I guess this is the sticks, but it's magnets and you can do it either way. There's magnets on either side, so. Or is it? I feel like these are repelling each other. Interesting. I guess you can't know. Okay, well, either way. So that is what that set looks like. I'm gonna go through the brushes quick. So this first brush looks like a little pencil brush. This is number 26. This is their largest pencil brush in the collection. Effortless work on inner and outer corners with speed and an unexpected level of accuracy. Then we have number 29, which is Firm and Dense. It's their first liner brush. It says it's for wing liners. I hope you can see the tip on that. This is a flat winged liner brush, which I do not have anything like this. So, huh, that could be pretty interesting actually. Next, we have their number 32 which says it's a favorite among our early testers. Brush 32 has a unique shape designed for blending out harsh lines, smudging and eye contouring. Definitely a unique shape. This is pretty thick, but it's slanted. I feel like something like this, I would think to use to like blend out my concealer, but it says for eyeshadow. So maybe this area here, you can use brushes however you want, but I'm gonna try to use them the way they say to make sure I'm getting the most out of them. Next is number three, which is 
pro favorite pencil brush that achieves the impossible balance between softness and precision. So another pencil brush. This one is smaller than the other. Number 27, without a doubt, the fluffiest blending brush in our lineup. So that is a regular old blending brush. It is a little bigger than what I normally use, but these all feel very sturdy. You can tell it's good like wood that it's made out of and no shedding or anything like that on any of them so far. Better not. Number one, this is the community's favorite do-it-all blending brush. I never really understood. I have another blending brush like this that's kind of tapered, like it's flat this way and then kind of pinched this way. Why for a blending brush? But whatever, who am I to question it? Next, I have number 16, which is a large tapered crease brush that is ideal for applying a quick wash of base color on the lid. So this looks kind of like another blending brush. Let's see the difference. It's a little bigger than the blending brush. I hope you guys can see that. The blending brush is on this side and then this is the other. So crease brush still, you can use it to, like I said, I like to throw bronzer in my crease and go. That would be perfect for that. Next we have number 15, which is a versatile medium sized crease brush built for impactful pigments and effortless blending. So another crease brush. So I'll show you the difference. It is a little shorter than the others. So I'm gonna try to get these lined up for you guys, but that's the three right there. So this is the newer one that I just pulled out a little shorter. I mean, do we really need that many? I don't know. Number 14, small crease brush specifically designed for the hooded eye. That would be me right in here. So another crease brush, but a lot smaller. This is the number 12, which is a high impact smudge brush that's been meticulously balanced to achieve optimal density, firmness, and softness smudge brush this is a very thick kind of big smudge brush for like under here hmm or maybe smudge and liner here too so that's a bit different then we have number 13 which is the smallest crease brush in our lineup that offers unparalleled precision yet unexpectedly fluffy and soft so another crease brush and honestly these small ones like this I, I like to use for my outer V so glad I have that one number 21 is an impactful shader designed for shimmers and cream products inspired and made specifically at the request of the beauty community so that is that one there I'm excited to use this one because I know there are a lot of shadows that I always feel like my other brushes don't pick up well so I'm wondering if having Japanese handmade specific for that brushes will make a difference next i have the number 28 which is a shader brush that excels at precision application of liquids creams and shimmers so we have one and the other number 21 is a little bigger just a tiny bit i wonder what the difference is in the hairs Maybe I need to look that up, but we're not gonna do that right now. Next, I have number 23, which is the smallest and, finest pen smallest and finest pencil brush in the collection. So again, another pencil brush. And then this last one, number two, is their versatile high density shader that will pack on shadow like no other. So yeah, that is all the brushes. There is something else in this box. Did I get two? Did I get two? Okay, so now maybe I don't feel like I wasted my money. What is this? What did I get? Complete eye collection set. Complimentary vanity component B will be included for brush storage. Well, component B, component B. I am not mad about that. Thanks, boo. 
<laughs> and you see, I didn't even open this yet. Yeah, it's the same thing. So we have two of them. Oh, do they stick together? What? Yes. Oh, come on. Be nice to me. Nope, I need to turn this one. Wow. I got two of them. I don't know if I was supposed to or not, but that's pretty exciting. So that is the complete set that I got from Refer. You guys will be seeing these in a video soon. I still got a lot of stuff, so I'm going to try to get through these pretty quick. Next, I picked up another Trend Mood box. I don't buy these every time they come out. There has to be something in it that I really want for me to do it. So this one had some Demonessa Myrick stuff in it, and that's why I bought it. I also felt like it was a lot of good products for the price. That's something else that I look at. So yeah, it has to be something that I feel is 100% worth it. And I got quite a few products. So first thing is this Diana Madison Beauty, the Glow Factor. This is a rosehip oil hydrating sheet mask, a face mask. Love these. This says apply to clean, dry skin, leave on 15, 20 minutes. Remove and massage any remaining serum into the skin. Pretty standard. Never heard of this brand, but I love these. Next, I got this Lily Lashes Level Up Lash Enhancing Serum. Y'all know I love my Grande Lash. I will always buy that any chance I can get, but I'm always open to try another one. That one's $65. I don't know the regular price of this one. I'll go ahead and add it on the screen. But yeah... It says these only last for six months, so I'm not going to open this. It says it's a three-month supply, so we'll see how this compares, but I've had pretty good luck with my Grande Lash. Next is this Kinship Pimple Potion Retinol and Salicylic Acid Acne Treatment. Haven't had a lot of issues with acne. I do have a little bump over here, but other than that, my face is still doing pretty well when I remember to wash it like I'm supposed to. So this is just a spot treatment. Probably won't need to use this a lot, but it's good to have it just in case I need it. I was pretty excited about this. This is the Kinship Bright Wave Energizing and Brightening Eye Cream. I love getting eye creams. I don't buy them often, but if I can get them in a set or get them on sale, that's when I pick them up. This one says it's a light catching eye cream that diminishes the appearance of dark circles and replenishes Hydration for a wide awake look. That is exactly what we need. I'm not going to open this yet. Eh, eh. Oh, well. You already cracked the seal. Is it orange? Yes, it is orange. This looks really yellow. Pull it back here. Does that help? Anyway, it's like an orangish kind of yellow. So I think that would be really good if it has any kind of color correcting properties to help with discoloration. Next is this Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow Body AHA Resurfacing Serum. This is just like a lotion, but it's a serum. It says used to two to three times a week may build up to more frequent use. So it also says you might experience a slight tingling. This I will definitely be using for my legs because as I've said before in the past, I feel like the back of my legs don't always feel smooth. Like it's just like, it's not ingrown hairs. It just doesn't feel smooth even after I shave. So anything to help resurface, calm all that down. If it's clogged pores, hair bumps, whatever, I need it gone. So I'm definitely looking forward to trying this. Next is this Caudalie Vino Pure Purifying Gel Cleanser. This is for combination to acne prone skin. I'm not going to open this. I'm going to probably save this for the summer. I tend to use more oily skin products during the summer when it's hot to keep everything in balance so that my face doesn't melt off with makeup. But again, not really having issues with acne. So I guess it's more just wanting to make sure everything stays clear. The last two products, are these both Danessa's? Yes. So this first one is the Hot Lava Infinite Chrome Flakes, multi-chrome gel for eyes and face. Y'all, this I was so intrigued by because it, it kind of looks like a multi-chrome pigment, but it says it's a gel, but I don't understand because it says tap flakes onto lids with your finger or a brush. So is it a lid gel or I don't know, but look at this color. 
can you just take a minute? Like, that literally looks like lava. There's blue, green, yellow, purple. I hope all this is coming off. Pro tip, layer flakes over color fix, twin flames, or eyeshadow to create different combinations. There are two little stoppers on here, I guess, to make sure this doesn't leak. Or maybe once I take this one off. It is a gel. Ooh. Okay, so that is what it looks like. I'm gonna try to... Y'all, this color, I hope you can see what that looks like. I gotta put this on my hand. Okay, so it is definitely... This is so crazy. It's like flakes submerged in a gel. But you can see the color shift on that. It looks like green right here to me. And then it looks red. It looks orange. I hope you guys are getting all these shifts because it is beautiful. It's chunky though. I wonder how these dry down. I'm going to leave this on my hand to see how it dries down. But even here, just on my finger, you can see that is so pretty. Now this, honestly, I would probably use a lot more than just a standard pigment because I feel like it would be easier to use to apply, but make sure I close this tight so it doesn't dry out. This is gorgeous. The last thing I have is one of her Twin Flame Multi-Chrome Pigments. This one is in the shade Everlasting. I didn't get to pick these, but I'm glad I got this one because it is a green, which we all know I love. And then if you don't have these, this is what the packaging looks like. And then it pretty much, oh no it doesn't. I started to say it looks like all of your others, the like Stila ones, but those are all in square components. I like this component. This looks clear, but then on the inside it's like purple and green and where are we gonna put you? Let's put you on this hand. Ooh. Okay, so this is what it looks like right out of the component. It just looks clear. But then when I put it on my... Did y'all see that, Sean? Look at this. When I put it on my hand... That is beautiful. You can see the green. You can see the gold. I love stuff like this and I love the applicator being like this because it'll be a lot easier to use. I'm putting this with my refer brushes because that needs to be used ASAP. These next two products I picked up from Macy's, just random like I said. These were half off and these were items that I had thought about picking up but I wanted a sale because I did not need them. First thing, this is small. I know I won't wear it a lot but when I tell you this literally brings back like what, early 2000s for me? Yeah, literally, like this was my signature scent. This is the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. I love how this smells. I have knockoff versions of it, and I just, I wanted to get another one for my collection. The original bottle I bought back in mid, early 2000s, um, it pretty much lasted up until, I think it started turning like a, a year or so ago. Like the color of the liquid was not quite right and then it didn't smell quite the same anymore. So I was like, all right, Barbara, time to give it up. I love this blue velvet packaging. And like I said, I didn't need a big bottle. This is cute. I'll never, ever, ever get tired of this smell. Absolutely love it. One of my all time favorite fragrances. And then this is a newer one. This is Prada Candy Night. This bottle was half off. It had been sitting in my cart at Ulta and I was waiting for a 20% off. And then I saw it at Macy's for half off. So you know I jumped on it. Sephora had it half off for a little while too. But by the time I found out about it, it was already sold out. So I actually, I smelled this one from my Lux SB um, subscription box and I absolutely loved it. And I could have very well gotten it from them, but I don't think I would have gotten this much of a discount. And it was just FOMO. I saw it and I grabbed it as soon as I could. I thought this was broke. This bottle is so gorgeous. 
and then this comes off and it looks like that so this is my first product purchase i believe i love how this smells it is a little sweet but it's a little more sultry than just the original product candy so i definitely think this is going to be a good addition to my collection because it's different but it's still kind of similar to what i wear already I picked up another perfume. Again, this one was also on sale. This I picked up, I ain't even gonna lie, more for the packaging than the smell. This is the Bulgari Omnia, and I don't know what the rest of the name of this is, but this is what the box looks like, but y'all, I'm, I'm not lying. I got it for the packaging. Look at how cute this is. Like, perfect for my vanity, right? It smells okay. It smells decent. Like I would wear it. It's not just going to sit. But I remember looking at it and reading the notes and thinking because it had gardenia, I wasn't sure I was going to like it. But yeah, it's right in line with most of the other stuff I wear. So this is going to sit nice and pretty back here in the front. Matter of fact, let me just... There we go. She has a home. I have two random products from Walmart because I'm crazy. And then I have some stuff from Shein. So we'll get Walmart out the way. The first thing I picked up, I saw it, hadn't seen it before. This is the Pro Fusion Meadow Palette. This is what it looks like. I thought the shades were absolutely gorgeous. This is so fall, winter appropriate. And I do have some other Pro Fusion shadows, but I haven't bought them in a while. So I ain't even gonna lie. I bought this, I stuck it in my little bin right here, and then the next time I went back to Walmart, I almost bought it again, because I was like, ooh, that's pretty, I should get that. This is why you have to be careful. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and just swatch a few. I really wanna see what that middle shade looks like. Boots, no, that's not what that says, is it? Roots. <laughs> it looks kinda like a multi-chrome, this shade here. Ooh, feels very soft. Oh man. This is like every blue brown pigment pigment you've seen where it's kind of like I feel like it's not going to be that pigmented. This is what it looks like on my finger. Yeah. I mean it's not bad, but I feel like almost every shade that is made like that looks like that. So, I'm going to check Willow, which is a matte kind of satin evergreen looks a little patchy but it's still pretty and then let's see what epiphany looks like this blue that is also really pretty so those are those shades there pretty dark pretty pigmented i want to see what stream looks like just because it looks like oh it is a matte it's a matte but it has little specks of glitter in it that's very pretty. That would be a cute, like cool toned lid shade as opposed to going with your standard bone or cream or white. So, hmm, I wonder if you can get a full look out of this. <sighs> They're definitely a little powdery, but the shades are pretty good. The next Walmart product I picked up, y'all, me and my greens. This is the Look Pro Hard Candy Eyeshadow Palette in Smoke Out. Look at these greens. That is why they have two base shades. How is that a base shade? This shimmer shade is supposed to be a base shade. And then this is supposed to be a base shade. This I can see putting in your crease, but the other one, I mean, I guess if you just put it all over your lid, then maybe I'm trying to wash this, wipe this off my hand and it is not coming off. So take note. If you put these on your eyes, you may have a little bit of trouble. You have to do some scrubbing. I really just picked this up because I have not tried any hard candy eyeshadows and honestly because it's green. It does look like there are some very chunky glitters in here. I ain't gonna use these brushes, but this shade here and this shade here are glitters, which they're soft, but I don't do glitters like that. That is what they look like right there. So super pretty, I'm just not yeah i ain't a glitter girl that's like straight up glitter which i'm not putting on my eyes so those probably will not get used but let's check out these other shades if i can get this off my fingers okay i definitely want to try 
this shade here. So let's see how that looks. And then we'll check out this shade, this shade. And then of course there aren't many mattes. This one's a matte, this one's a matte, and that's a matte, and that's it. And these don't look that pigmented. So that's what the shades look like there. And then I'll go ahead and swatch them. Uh, not bad, actually. I mean, I'm not sure that oh, that matte one barely shows. But these other shades aren't bad. So, hmm. That was, oh, there is one more matte shade. This kind of grayish light taupey brown, which is this shade here. And there you have that one. So not, I mean, what do you expect? It's hard candy. I don't know if anybody even shops for this brand anymore, but I was curious, it's green. So may not get a lot of use, but it would be good to test out new to the drugstore. Last thing I picked up from Walmart, this is the Shea Moisture Sugar Cane Extract and Metal Foam Seed Miracle Styler Leave-In Treatment with Marshmallow Root. It says it helps to detangle, nourish, and soften. I only got a small one of this. I don't know if it comes in a bigger. I only saw this, but I can't imagine that this would be the normal size, but I love trying new detangling products. I do plan to use this for my hair, but if it doesn't work out, I can always use it in a wig, so I just wanted to try it says it's silicone free, so that's supposed to be good for your hair, not as many chemicals, but I haven't tried this line from this brand before. So if you have, comment below, let me know what you think about it. All right, we are at the bottom of the bin. I picked up a bunch of nails, and honestly, <laughs> y'all, they were like $3 a piece, so that's why. This first set, they just say false nails, designer nails, salon quality nails, whatever. I'm just gonna show you guys what they look like. So this one, you get 24 pieces. This one is this gorgeous green. I hope the color is showing right. But it's like an army green, kind of olive, and it has sparkles on it. These are absolutely ridiculous how long they are, and I will be cutting them. Most of these are like that. This next set is like a very similar, but it's an ombre purple. These will also be getting cut. The next set, these are really pretty. These actually have, oh, they have glue tabs in the back. So you can use glue or you can use the glue tabs, but these are a really pretty blue and purple, almost like a watercolor. So I thought these were cute and they're not too long, so I can definitely, these are more wearable for me. This next set is a black marble. They almost look like a smoky gray. I just hope these are not all a complete waste. I did not, I didn't know they had all these beauty products, so I just was like, let me grab them while I can. This next set is ridiculous, but I love the colors. Yes, I'm gonna cut it. This is like a purple, pink, blue kind of marble, and then it has the white accent nail. So yeah, definitely not wearing these these long, but they are pretty. This next set, these are almost like a, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're almost like iridescent kind of, so I feel like they're gonna be that gel like kind of see-through as opposed to an opaque, but I love the color, I love the shift. And I think it's a pretty neutral color, so that's why I picked this one, but you can see it's like pink, but then it goes to a little gold, maybe a little bit of a red. So just, I love stuff that has holographic different shifts to it. This next one, you probably can't even see this color, but this is a really dark purple. It almost looks black, but again, way too long, going to cut them. This next one, I don't love these as much as what I thought I would, but they'll still get worn. These are navy blue, but then the accent nails are like pink and gold and blue. So just something different. I feel like these are gonna pop off pretty easy. I don't know why, I hope not, 
but these also look extremely big and I have small nail beds. So might have to mix and match these with something else. And this last one, I just thought this was gorgeous. This looks like galaxy. So it has like purple and blue and pink and it has like little starbursts and orange and all these different shades. So stuff that I can't do, designs that I don't think will be easy to get in the salon without paying a crap ton of money. I like to find nails that have that so I can kind of still feel like I did something even though it's just a press on. The last thing I picked up is this Cactus Cool She Glam palette. I have not used any of their makeup before and I started to pick out a bunch of stuff to do a full face and then I was like, Barbara, don't do that. Just don't, don't do that to yourself. But I could not pass up this palette. It is green, go figure. For somebody whose favorite color is purple, you would not be able to tell. But I just thought, oh, this is green. Like this is a green palette. And looking at it now, it reminds me a tiny, tiny bit of the Ace Beauté palette that I just got. And I did a look with that one, but let's check it out. We're gonna see Blue Agave, Skrilla, Collared ID. Okay, ooh, I like that shade. And then we're gonna try Relationship Status, which, no, it's not the darkest shade, but it's pretty dark. And then Pear Naked. So those are the five shades there. They look pretty pigmented. Which one is this one? This is relationship status here. Why would you put that up there on your knuckle? Still looks green, but it's pretty dark. This is collared ID, which is pretty dark, but it has some shimmer in it. It's really still dark on my finger, but not so much on my swatch. This one is Skrilla very chunky kind of glitter this is blue agave same and then this last one is a matte pair naked so we'll see it's just strange to me like i have this much pigment on my finger still but not so much on the swatch so maybe they're better on the eyes than they are on the swatch but yeah all right guys, so that is it for this haul. I feel like I've been talking forever. This stuff has been sitting and I still have another box of stuff to film. It ain't gonna get done today, but I just want you guys to know more hauls are coming. So if you wanna watch, make sure you're subscribed, turn on your notifications bell, and thank you for sticking with me to the end of this video. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.